I thought I would give you um, some tips and thoughts on, on, on preparing for the Tamura papers if you are doing that in about a month and a half's time. Um, I've broken this down into general tips, paper one and paper two. I've always been reluctant to make a video uh, on this topic, um, although recently it has occurred to me that as someone who's done literally every single Tamura paper all the way through multiple times and taught people one-to-one -one, um, a lot of those questions and also made uh, a video videos on every single one where I've talked through every single question, I probably know Tamura better than almost anyone on the planet. So maybe I'm in a position where I should make a video like this. But the reason that I was reluctant to was because what's currently on the screen is basically all that it is. I'm, I, if you're here to be offered magic beans on how to get better at Tamura, that's not happening. What's on the screen is, is the only way to get better. And I was so reluctant to make this video because in the five minutes that it will take you to watch this, I genuinely think you're better off just practicing some questions. Like that's a better use of your five minutes. Um, I will give some other tips after this one as well, but quite genuinely, if you don't intend to do this, and if you intend instead to try and find some other way out, you're just going to fail the exam, right? You're just not going to do as well as you could, could do. This is just so important for so many reasons. Um, I would suggest if you want to get into the nitty gritty, though it doesn't really matter, maybe start with the spec papers because they're slightly easier, they're nice warm ups to the actual things, then go to 2021, then work backwards. Um, I'd also obviously suggest not just doing the papers, but really looking through the work solutions, trying to understand what it is that you didn't get if you didn't know a question. Watch videos like mine, Mathsaurus, I think is the only person I've ever found who has any decent content on Tamura. Um, if you don't understand something, please ask a teacher and if you don't feel comfortable asking any of your teachers or you don't have a teacher um, at your school who can help you please just drop me an email and i'll try and go through it properly you know the reason that i make these videos is for people who don't have teachers who can help them or uh, don't have teachers that are comfortable asking to, to help them um, and I know when I record my videos that sometimes I mess up and sometimes I'll do really good at explaining 19 of the questions and then I'll just get really tired or I'll just mess up explaining one and I'll publish the video anyway because it's only one question and it won't be very good and you won't understand it. Just drop me an email. I'll be happy to try and explain it to you properly. Um, so please try and understand the mistakes that you make. Um, you can also practice a paper more than once. I think this is well worth doing. Don't just discard the 2021 20, papers um, after you do them. And I'm not saying practice it again the day after because then your short-term memory will just remember some of the answers. Practice it a few weeks after and see whether your long-term memory can remember the methods um, to every question. That's, that's really worthwhile doing. So yeah, what's, what's on the board? Um, do I have anything else to say? Yeah, practice also make you less stressed for the real thing. Um, because you'll be more comfortable, you'll know that there's a certain set of questions, a certain number of questions that you know you're going to get right, that reduces the room for a number of things that can go wrong. Like if you if you enter the Tumor blind, all 20 questions might be absolutely awful. If you go into it knowing that just five or 10 of them are definitely going to go well because you've seen that five or 10 over and over again through practice, then that means that only half of it can go really badly, which is better. And hopefully you'll be less stressed about that. And I, and I mean that completely seriously. Um, the other tips that I will give, and again, if, if you don't intend to do this, you may as well stop watching now um, and, and you may as well uh, admit that you're just going to fail. You need to do this. Everything else that I say in this video is just going to be much more niche and small examples, but laying out working really neatly. Um, and this sounds not um, worthwhile because if you know Tamura, you know that they only mark the actual answer. They don't care about the working. They don't look at it. You don't get any marks for it. So you might be thinking, what's the point in laying out work neatly? No one's going to read it. Well, you might have to read it, right? If you make a mistake somewhere and your answer isn't one of the answers on the line, you're going to have to read through your working. And if it's not neat, if it's not laid out in nice steps, and if you skip too many steps, you're going to have a much harder time to do that. Um, and also, that they write the multiple choice answers very intelligently in that mistakes often lead to one of the other answers. And so, again, you might just underline an answer. You might work through it really quickly, make a mistake, but then not notice because one of the answers is there. So go slowly, work through it properly. Don't skip steps, lay it out neatly. Um, please do that. Don't work too fast for the same reason, what I just said, essentially, that you'll make a mistake. The mistake will be one of the answers and you'll move on thinking you've got the question right. So don't work too fast. I would focus on the first 15 questions because I think the last five get sort of noticeably harder than the first ones. And of course, 15 questions, 75 minutes gives you quite a nice five minutes per question if you just focus on those. No one's really expecting you to get 20 out of 20. You don't have to even try for that. 
Um, I would be incredibly hard pushed to get 20 out of 20 in 75 minutes. I know because I've tried um, and only managed it occasionally. So please just focus on the first 15. Try and get as many of those right as possible and you'll get a good grade out of it if you do. Um, other things, maybe practice under time control. That's what I just said, isn't it, that I was doing. Um, I think you'll be shocked. You take the two papers back to back and I think you will be shocked if you haven't practiced just how tired you'll be about halfway through paper two. And people who have, are made to be watching this who have taken Tumura, I think at this point will be nodding their heads because they'll remember that moment when they were sitting in whatever room they were doing these exams where halfway through paper two, they were shattered because they've just done so many maths questions. And I think it's well worth practicing and preparing yourself for that moment. Um, uh, and you might even want to practice um, it a couple of times just so you can build up that stamina or practice a couple of uh, some different longer math exams that also um, require that kind of stamina to get through. Um, so I think that's well worth considering. Um, lastly, although I said focus on the first 15, do look at every question because it might be that you find a really easy question late on, like this one from I think 2020, uh, this was 2021 I believe. Um, it's question 19, but it's really easy. All you have to do is find the roots and then round up to the nearest integer. It's it's literally just two steps. Um, so do at least look at every question, even though you're expecting them to be hard, they might not be. Um, now here about some, some, some specific paper one stuff, and there's only a couple of things to say here. The first one is quadratics. Quadratics, quadratics. You need to be good at quadratics. In 2020, uh, paper number one, I just looked through my video that I made on it, 10 questions out of 20 had me doing quadratic stuff. So if you were very good at qu quadratics and you were taking the 2020 paper, you got half marks immediately just because you were very good at that. And I'm cherry picking a little bit, but usually it is a very high number. This is just the highest it's ever been, I think. Um, and sometimes the questions don't look like quadratics. This is a quadratic question. It doesn't immediately look like it, but you need to, I, I, I mean, the first thing I'll say is you need to recognize this is a quadratic immediately. This is the, just the quadratic y squared minus 4y plus 7. Um, so you need to recognize that, that immediately. And of course, it's asking you the maximum value. So you need this bottom bit to be a minimum because one over a minimum makes a maximum. So you're just minimizing this quadratic, which involves completing the square and you're done. All right, so recognizing that kind of thing and just being very good at it will bag you a lot of marks. The other thing is sketching. And this will come into paper two as well. Again, in that same paper that I just looked through, um, 11 questions, I sketched something. All right, so do not be afraid to do a sketch. Um, and this applies to paper number two as well. Practice sketching things, look for opportunities to sketch things. It will help you out with a lot of questions. I think lots of people will be here mostly for the paper two advice though, because people tend to find paper two a lot harder than paper one. Um, what I'll say is these things, uh, necessary sufficiency, if and only if, only if, if, and, and so on, those kind of statements, if then statements, definitely worth getting ahead around these. And I have a couple of videos on each of these things. Um, just to, to help you with these because I think it's really important that you understand these. These will come up multiple times per paper. I just looked through 2021 paper two um, and that had seven questions doing stuff of this form, right? And, and, and again, I didn't cherry pick this. I just found the nearest one. It's well worth understanding these ideas. Um, so again, if you don't watch my videos uh, or, or, or just ask me via email or whatever, ask your teachers, I, I think this is definitely worth trying to get your head around. You'll also see occasionally questions about negation and contrapositives. You'll be asked to negate a statement or write the contrapositive or whatever. I think this is less worth learning. Um, this will only come up maximum once. I've never seen it come up more than that. So it might be worth, and I know now that I've said this, the 22 paper, 2022 papers we uh, stuffed with this, but I, in my experience of having done them all, I think I would walk into the exam happily just not really knowing much about this because it doesn't really get you very many marks um, and you can just guess them anyway if you sort of know what you're doing um, and get a pretty good chance of being a, having a guess that's correct. The last thing is the same as paper one sketching. Um, again, I, I looked at, through this paper, paper two, 2022. Um, did I mean 2022 or did I mean 2021? I must have meant 2021 because this paper has not been released yet. Um, I sketched 12 questions. I, uh, well, on 12 questions, I did a sketch in 2021 paper two. Just looked through the video um, and actually on a lot of those questions I did more than one sketch because what I was doing was I was looking for counter examples to some of these things um, so again do not be afraid to sketch things that would be really useful um, but I cannot stress enough that I'm kind of just clutching at straws when I come up with these little helpful hints because that very first thing that I put up the practice thing that is all that there is to this and I'm really sorry 
but there is just no way around that. Um, you, uh, it's going to take you time, but you know that's just what you have to learn in life. You have to invest time um, to get what you want, um, and 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 you have to invest time into practicing these papers if you want what you want out of them. If you to want to get what you want out of them. Um, so yeah. Um, anyway, thank you for watching. Um, please do practice. Please do email me if you're not sure about something, and I'll try and help you out. Um, or just write in the comments. And uh, and yeah, good luck in the exam.